Dog food and dental disease. Should you be feeding kibble? What's the connection? Does it hurt or harm? Hello, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Believe it or not, I used to tell clients, don't feed soft stuff like this eee, animal protein. Feed your dog something hard and crunchy like this kibble. It's gonna help keep their teeth clean. Turns out millions of dogs, my own dog included, have shown that statement. It's not actually accurate. Tula has eaten kibble for the majority of her life. And let's just have a look at her teeth three months after having a dental scale and polish. Let's look at her back upper fourth premolar. See that? It is covered in tartar. Oh. So what's happening in dental disease as in what's going on in Tula's mouth? Tula eats food, AKA kibble. Kibble, it has a high portion of carbohydrates. It rapidly breaks down in the mouth. It's a great medium for bacteria to grow on. We have bacteria that turn into plaque that can then get calcified, turning into tartar. That can lead to gum inflammation, gingivitis, then periodontal disease leading to tooth loss. Even if Tula ate something like just 100% pure chicken, it's still food particles, it's gonna break down. It's still a medium for bacteria to grow on. Although the carbohydrates, they grow a whole lot more bacteria. You eat, your dog eats, bacteria grow. What's the best way to break that cycle up? Like clearly kibble, it's not it. I'm gonna show you five remedies today, but you should really stick around for the end, number five. It's a brand new one, could really make a difference for your dog's oral health. Number one, we're gonna brush with a natural toothpaste. Toothpaste is one tablespoon of coconut oil. It is a great natural antibacterial, great for bacteria that are growing in the mouth, the ones that are turning plaque into tartar. Then we're adding in the abrasive portion of the toothpaste. This is one teaspoon of baking soda. Mix those up well together and you've got a great combination that can help deal with gingivitis. That's the coconut oil, and help remove that plaque and tartar. That's the abrasive portion of the baking soda. I have here a little inexpensive electric toothbrush. It's focusing on the area where the tooth meets the gum line. If you just do this once a day, it can make a big difference. Number two, a natural oral rinse in the form of this green tea. Just make yourself a cup of green tea. You're adding a full cup of water. Let that sit and steep for 15 to 20 minutes. Let it cool. Green tea is a great antibacterial. It can decrease gum inflammation and it can really decrease the amount of bacteria that are causing gingivitis. And it's also a good option if you have a dog that just won't let you brush their teeth. I'm just gonna flush that her mouth after she's eaten a bit of that kibble. Just use my finger, kind of rub it along the, the gum meets the tooth line. Trying to get rid of as much bacteria and food particles as possible so it doesn't turn into black and tartar. Number three, if your dog will let you, consider a dental scaler. I like this dental hand scaler. Uh, it's sort of here in the shape of a little hockey stick. And the one edge here, the one on the very top, that's the part that's sharp. And what I'm gonna do is just gently move it along the surface of Tula's canine tooth, cause she'll let me. Just being really careful I don't hurt her gums. Good girl. I actually think it's a great option if your dog will let you use it. I use it on my last dog, Lewis. He never once in his 13 years of life ever had had a veterinary dental. Number four, dental treats specifically designed to help remove plaque and tartar. This is Crump's Plaque Busters and it works great on my brother's dog. It's got four simple ingredients, sweet potato, citrus fiber, coconut, and ground oyster shells. As my brother has said, his dog Angus has white shiny teeth now as a result of these dental treats. Some of the dental treats, they're definitely working well for some dogs. This one here with four simple ingredients, everything I can pronounce, is a good option. Number five, these are probiotics, the good bacteria. Believe it or not, there are billions of bacteria, as many people as there are in the world, in your mouth, in your dog's mouth. There are also approximately 500 different species. The bacteria that are in Tula's mouth, it's called the oral microbiome. And there's a bunch of studies out now showing just how important this is for dental health. So I'm pretty confident if you and I were to survive on a diet of processed food, say something like dog kibble, we're gonna have a pretty altered microbiome. And an altered microbiome, that can increase the number of bacteria that are causing harm. Guess what? We can have more dental caries. We can have more gingivitis. Studies are now confirming this. The bacteria most implicated in causing gingivitis, that's that red inflammation along the gum line, it's called Porphyromonas gingivalis. Studies have shown that our dogs that have increased amount of dental disease, they've altered oral microbiome. They have less of the good bacteria, 
too much of the bad bacteria. And what some of these studies have shown is that if you supplement with some of the right probiotics, you can actually see a reduction in some of these specific bacteria. Definitely research is ongoing. We know for sure that lactobacillus species are beneficial, but many of those other bacteria are also going to be beneficial. So you only be looking at a multi-strain probiotic supplement, you know, such as ProBiables. And if you're an old client and you heard me say, feed this stuff, this kibble is going to keep your dog teeth clean. Turns out I was wrong. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Entry Seekers of what you need to know about dog food and dental disease. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.